Oh, you happy people. Christy B, coming back at you. Today I'm going to do a swipe. I decided my base. I want, I couldn't decide on black or white. So I did black and white. So we're going to lay down the pillow. And I took all my blues that I had in the room that were mixed up. And picked... Ten of them, and I'm gonna use them in the swipes. We're gonna call it the blues. So hopefully, I have some negative space. When I'm done, so that my background shows up. Alright, that should be plenty of paint. I'm not worried about my center because, of course, that's where I'm going to put my colors. So, let's get started with colors. This is a bluish black that I made up. So, another made up color. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to put it down first. some of this tail feather down. I have three different containers of tail feather in here. <laughs> My TLP. Mind you, I don't know what these colors are. <laughs> really. This one's got a deco art. Uh, metallic sapphire and uh, probably their 24k gold metallic in it as well. I think this is cyan. This is definitely a pigment. I don't know which one though. <laughs> this is either an Arteza pearl blue or a blue I added pearl too. And this is uh, Arteza's Glacier, or Pearl Glacier Blue. Very pretty color. This is the Art Alchemy, no, it was the Boom Art Studios Flashing Green, Blue, and Purple by Boom Art Studio. I have no clue, guys. <laughs> no clue. This 
because he's definitely got a deco, the sapphire deco art in it. Or it could be sapphire TLP. But it looks like deco art to me. And this is interference blue, blue sparkle, and I'm thinking that's the only two that were in those three containers I put together. Oh, and I think there's a little Chantilly lace in it too. Never have enough sparkle. Activator, which will be white. Let's do it. Oh, it took a lot of the black and white away. <coughs> All right, what are we thinking about this? I like this part. Where's cheer? like a little flower right there. That sells on my spatula. Sell up for me. Or I did something wrong when I made the cell activator. I don't know. a lot of pain I took off of there. Alright. What do we got going on? Break the surface tension. Some black and white going on here. Some of that house paint is really thin. That should not move like that.
that was nice. A lump just fell off the canvas. This way again. I knew that was a little excess base. I don't know what I'm feeling about this little mountain here. I'm just not very good at keeping negative space anyway. We can really see the tail feather through there. This gray is kind of strange to me, but it's okay too. I think we'll do one more spin. Get some more of this off. think in the comments. I'd be interested to hear. I'm liking all this. But I don't want to make that gray any wider either. Alright, next time you see it, down for a close-up. Alright guys, here's the wet results of this one. See how pretty the tail feather and if you like it leave me a comment tell me what you think about it hit that subscribe button twice and ring that bell until next time see ya This is the dried results of this one. See, as I move, it glows and changes. It's very pretty. There's the dried results of last week's.